smiling. She wore a smile. And so she, we never had like a, like a interaction as a, as, <coughs> as really close relationship. Like, a, like I do with some of the other men. I have to charge my computer, but I'm keep watching this because it's amazing. Stop by and talk about her personal life. She never did that. They're asking you about uh, a date that you recall seeing Amber Heard on May 25th, 2016. you see that? Yes, I do. And you said, probably, I just can't remember the days. I've got a really bad memory for the days. Did you see that? Yep. I love this guy. He's, He's like literally in his car, inside his car. I never seen a deposition. Like be able this. to remember what type of clothing Amber Heard Here we go with the clothing and the makeup. Events? Nope, she, I don't remember. She just comes across um, as like... Would you remember on any daily basis uh, what type of hairstyle she was wearing? Oh, my God. Nope. Would you remember on any type of basis uh, what type of uh, uh, bag she was wearing? Bag. She say a bag? No. Would you I, be I like able to her. say uh, whether she Amber Heard was dressed up or casual? No. <laughs> Would you be able to uh, say whether she was what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing? Oh my gosh, I'm dying. No. Would you be I'm able dying. to say, for example, whether Amber Heard had on concealer or foundation on any given day? No. Would you be able to say whether Amber Heard had on blush? Or like powder? guys don't know this stuff, dude. No. Elaine, you're crazy. Whether Amber Heard had any mascara or eyeliner on. <laughs> no. How about eyebrow pencil or lip pencil? Eyebrow no. pencil. Do you have any mem memories of Amber Heard? Uh, Wearing a particular type of makeup with a type of outfit. No. If you were asked uh, to describe uh, any characteristics of Amber Heard from two days earlier without knowing you were going to be asked, would you be able to testify no. to any of those? What she was wearing, what her makeup was, what her hairstyle was? No, I won't, probably won't remember. When is the first time that you recall anyone saying anything to you about the police being called at the EC building? This is a really funny of part. The domestic right dispute between Mr. Depp and Amber Heard. Well, to answer your question, whatever happened, it happened on a Saturday. I don't work Saturday. When I got there on Monday, they asked me, oh, you heard what happened? No, what happened? So that's how I find out. Then okay. I, I went to the, I went to the cameras and see what what was why what was going on. why Elaine yeah, keeps asking Johnny, things camera, to Alejandro if Alejandro yeah, wasn't even there. Forward, he already camera, said he doesn't work on Saturdays, and Elaine no, keeps yeah, going and on. No, I feel so yeah, bad. I feel bad for like any it. witness that have to deal with Elaine. I really but do. I was between like the muffins yesterday and this, it's just hilarious. Do you recall who told you he was not there, Elaine? He was not there. Okay, Don. As a matter of fact, I think it was one of the residents that they approached to me and they said uh, there was a lot of noise. Because the person was working out on the gym that's next to the penthouse. They heard a bunch of noise, and that's it. And I, that's why I checked the camera. And, said, and when I looked at the camera, and I saw Johnny, like I said, was just walking back and forward in the elevator. And I said, like, okay, all right, okay, no, I, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. And I didn't say anything more. I turned off the camera, and that's it. So... The That's it, that Elaine. Stop asking. Somebody was working out and heard the noise? Someone was working out on the gym and heard the noise. They heard a lot of noise in the hallway. Because it's really rare to hear anything because most of the time 
Uh, the penthouse level is. It's so dark. I'm sorry. There's no light. Okay. Do you remember who the person was in the gym that heard a lot of noise in the penthouse that night? That's correct. I do remember the person. Oh, he does. Who is it? I wouldn't. Um, I remember the person has been a resident of the building for a long time. I just don't remember. I don't remember her name. That. <laughs> And where is the gym? That's me. I'll be the same way. I'll be like, I remember the person, but I don't remember the name of the person. I will answer the same thing. Like I said, Jolly Dam, all, all the penthouse on the, on the, on the clock, the gym, and six, the gym of the Eastern Columbia building is just in front of one of the penthouses. You actually can see it through the window. Hmm. You can see That's the gym through the window of the penthouse, and you can see the penthouse through a window of the gym. You can see the, the gym to one of the windows to the house, and it has a patio that leads to the gym. Then house has the patio to lead to the gym. And this can, if you, if you think of her name while you're, you know, even if we're asking other questions, remember, he doesn't know. remember the name, this Elaine. Shut the fuck the up, Elaine. Yeah, I believe her name is uh, Shana. And, and so she told you she heard a lot of noise. That's correct. Did she describe anything, uh, voices, uh, any objects, anything like that? No, she just said it was a noise. As uh, well, just noise. And uh, she was just surprised because, like I said, it's always really quiet. So she wants to know what happened. I'm trying to catch more light if it isn't possible. Because the sun's going down. So there's no light. Because she got the time. She got the time that she was working out. That's why I, I figured out the track, the, the time and the camera, and looked. And then when I saw, as soon as I saw, like I said, Johnny Depp walking back and forth in the elevator, I turned off the camera. And I figured out, okay, this is what happened. I figured out we wanted to together. I thought, okay. When you said you figured out what happened after you saw Johnny Depp in the elevator, what did you figure out that happened? I figured out that was, that was that's why they called the cops, the police. Because why? Because of the, because of the noise that was on that fan up level. Mr. Romero, I'm going to ask you to look at this is a uh, video clip. Uh, oh my God! Is Romero exhibit number eight? What are they going to show him? Poor Alejandro Romero. This is not his fault. He's like involved in this bullshit. That's what he's thinking right there. He's like in his car, putting lotion on. I'm like, I don't want to fucking do this. What are they gonna show him? What video? What video they're gonna show him? Oh, this again? The elevator? There is timestamps. Why Elon Musk was saying that they cannot catch him because there's no timestamps? There's timestamps, all right. Okay, so that's Sean coming in. That's Jerry Judge, and that's Johnny with the hat taking his jacket off looking animated not angry animated this is gonna be so dark impossible to even watch but i'm just doing it for fun i couldn't even wait until i get home to do this because like i thought it was hilarious he's just getting more funny this whole thing after the muffins yesterday elaine you should have just quit elaine just quit go get some amica cream Please snore a line of Amica cream. What are you supposed to see on that video? Like, I don't get it. Date and time stamp near the bottom. Do you recognize this as the elevator at the TV building? That's correct. Mr. Romero, you're nodding. Is this the video that you remember looking at after Shauna? He's what? Nodding? That's correct. He's what? He's nodding like nine. That's Mr. Depp. All right. Do you recognize the other two men in the elevator? 
I recognize uh, the guy in front of the elevator pump does his uh, personal bodyguard. The other guy, uh, I've seen him before, but uh, I never interact with him. If I did, I don't remember. You said he looked agitated. Right? Yeah, he looked agitated. Like he was walking back and forward. He took his jacket, his body language, so it was uh, different of that than before. Most of the time, he's really calm. He's just like a really happy person. Well, yeah, because he just got a freaking argument with the little monster, so of course he's going to be animated. At approximately 10.30, this heard walking to the lobby, accompanied by Ms. Richard. That's the person you called Black Beaver here. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And you said that Ms. Heard approached you to ask you for the key to her unit, which you gave said we did not discuss anything else at that time. Correct. Ms. Hurd stood approximately three feet away from you. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks. There you freaking go, Elaine. Do you see that? Correct. I love this. There's like so many people in one day that said there was nothing on her face, nothing on her face, nothing on her face. I was not looking for any marks or bruises or anything. Uh, but I guess the data will be really noticeable, but I guess, you know, I wasn't not looking. I was more focusing on what my job duties was, like getting the key and also the I gave her the key and they were talking about I told her, you know what, your dog I was talking with Raquel because her dog got out of her unit. And that was one of, one of my concerns. I was told, you know what? I saw your dog was outside. You didn't want me to get, get too close to it. So it's still out there. You know, at the pet house area, there are dogs. Where he's at? I want to know I where he's at. Well, yeah, he's in, the, he's in the Columbia building. I'm going to go. I'm going to go hang out with Alejandro Romero. It's down this well, not down the street, like about 40 minutes away from me. I'm going to the Columbia building to hang out with you, Alejandro Romero. I'm not a stalker. I'm just saying it looked like a lot of fun. Uh, it's amazing that he's in the car. He's like, I'm not even going to matter with this position. I'm not going to even do it inside my house. I'm going to do it in the car. And he was not in. Well, he probably is tired, man. Like, just, Elaine doesn't understand that. She really thinks that. All these people, all they do is look at Amber's face to find things. These people have jobs, okay? Elaine doesn't get it. Elaine, you don't get it. And Mr. Depp owned everything up there, so you'll be fine. So that was one of my concerns. That was my job, and I was just taking care of that. I was not trying to say, oh, let me see your face. No. Exactly. Nobody is trying so, to see and people's that's faces. that's I'm going to follow up. Do you remember what Miss Heard was wearing that? Nope. Do you remember whether she was dressed up? No. Nope. Do you remember where she was coming from? That she was coming home at ten thirty at night with Miss Henry. No, I don't remember. They didn't mention to me. She was actually she was on the phone. She was with Raquel in front of me. We were talking about it, and then she left to the lobby, where she was still on the phone. So I was focusing. I was focusing more on Raquel. Because she, they want, I was telling about her dog. Okay. The Do you freaking remember dog. what hairstyle Miss Heard? Oh my God, Elaine. Nope. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard? Elaine. Nope. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? <laughs> no. Can you tell me whether she was wearing any type of, any kind of eye makeup? No. So who wrote the sentence, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind in this first day? I'm pretty sure if I would have said something like that, I would have said something. Mr. Romero, I, I did I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. I don't just don't recall. Don't Elaine, she was just sending go home, Elaine. I'm asking specifically, I did not notice any bruises, 
cuts, swelling, red marks, That's or right. any other injuries of any kind to Miss Burke's face. Who wrote That's that? What, That's what I said. That's what I said. I didn't tell any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But so they, asked, they asked me, they asked me if I remember seeing anything. And so I just don't recall seeing any marks or bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember seeing anything. Just don't remember. They said, how it would have been so Just leave obvious. this guy alone, Elaine. Like, someone had like a black eye, I would have like, oh, you know, I would have seen that. And I would remember that. It's something that you will, oh, you will see. You're like so noticeable, like you will, oh, like you will remember. But when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any. Three feet. It's quite close. But you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, she was wearing any makeup to cover it, probably. You know, the, the probably would you probably would cover any bruise, but you cannot cover the swelling. Were you looking for swelling? No. Like I said, I was not Elaine. Swelling. Go home. And you were spending more time talking to Rocky about her job, were you not? That, that's correct, but I gotta, I gotta have it. I'm, uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into their eyes. And when I was talking to uh, Amber God. and Rocky, I always look into their eyes. I love and this I guy. Probably would notice, like, any swelling I'm looking to your eyes, okay? Food. I'm not looking. Like said, oh, I he's killing me. He's killing me. I love Is it. Is there to say, Mr. Romero? that you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. I would probably remember the bullet, but I didn't tell anything. I don't remember. I don't remember. And you don't Bye, remember man. seeing anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember. I remember, I, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I remember, I gotta tell the whole story, how it got there. <laughs> Before they got in, they went to get the key, they come down, they said, somebody tried to get into my unit. It was all because of the and fucking dog. And like, I'm oh, sorry, I'm, um, I'm, I'm alive. Really sorry, I know. But it's annoying. Who, well, thing is, not going to the unit because it's saw some scratches on the door, like what four inches above the door. Because the dog was crashing, the door was trying to get in. A damn they dog! I told you, it's all the dogs' fault. I said, "On the, the, the the my head, I was like, Do you really? You think someone's trying to get into your unit? The scratches." Like four inches above your the floor and your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. They were so afraid. Oh, somebody's trying to get into my ears. Like, oh, come on, really? And I actually, when they asked me to go inside the unit, uh, just to take room by room. Johnny was cracking out. No so I did that. It's part of my job. Make sure they're safe. But I like really, I didn't understand why they wanted me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That that he just did there like right. oh. I'm just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case. Uh, everybody got problems. And He's done. I don't want to deal with it no more. I don't want. I don't want to put this. There. They need more work. He's done. The interaction you just testified about is Amber. Parker Elaine. He's Rocky done. Henning. He I said he doesn't want to deal with it anymore. And checking out the penthouse. None of that was on video footage, correct? That's correct. And we don't have cameras in the video. Um, it's hard. We don't have cameras in the hallway. We don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you. I know this is not live, but it's for me because I ain't got a chance to watch it because I, um, I was working. That you I'm still here. But I was like, fuck it. I need to watch this show now. Which and I usually won't do. Two months after but I won't even get here until this whole thing, until the, the court date is over. But this was too and funny. I, do you recall giving that? 
Your position? A friend texts me and she's like, watch Alejandro Romero now. Okay. I'm going to take you to page 35. Ah, this poor guy is being tortured by Elaine. I'm telling you, Alejandro, I'm coming for you. We're going to go hang out, drink some Coronas, like right here down the street. I'm like really close to the Columbia building. I know that sounds like it's talkish, but I, I love this guy. This is the same incident that you're talking about now, okay? <sighs> and she's so dense. She does it on purpose or what? She's like on purpose of that being dense. To kind of like, maybe that's so what Elaine does. Like she's trying to like just want to go back tire second. the person, you know, like you a boxer. Make you fucking tired until then you say whatever the fuck she wants you to say. She's so dense. When you say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks, any marks, did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see. Anything. He was looking at for eyes because that's what he does when he talks to people. At that time, two months after the incident. Yes, I, do, I remember because, like I said, I was, I am always make eye contact with someone I was talking to. But I'm not looking to find something like, like, oh, your makeup's wrong, uh, you, you have to uh, change your eyebrows, or your uh, eyelashes are not even, or I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm, looking, I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will probably wear Your eyelashes are not even. You saw something, right? No. Yeah, I, I would have probably would she see, didn't like, see she anything like swollen. Like if she was wearing makeup, probably would have been seen the swollen. I probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the twenty fifth? She day? wasn't swollen. How swollen was her cheek? Well, according to the pictures that, that I've been seeing right now that you're showing me. It was pretty swollen. I'll probably the picture that she that. showed him. How many days later did you see her the fake from picture. that swelling? That was on a Wednesday. That was from right. Wednesday. Right. How many right. days? I can't even remember. remember. I don't. I wouldn't even remember any of this shit. That you cannot testify by one way or the other whether Emma Heard was domestically uh, abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016. I can. I cannot say that. Dude, sun is going so down. There's no light in here. That there was pictures of wine, a glass of wine, and a bottle of wine, wine stains on the floor outside of the uh, in the hallway of the penthouse from May twenty first, two thousand sixteen. I remember throwing a mark. I'm not gonna say it was wine. Hmm. All right. It was so, throwing the fucking dogs. I, I'm not an Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this deposition contains questions asked by counsel for Mr. Depp. Okay. Okay. That was like brilliant. I love this guy. I guess we'll get more of the same, huh? First, he this said that he wasn't there because it was a Saturday. So I don't know why he like keep asking, but I guess she's doing for Elaine job. She's not gonna get hired by like by anybody after this shit. Okay, so this is Johnny's um lawyers asking. Oh shoot. Is it over? Oh he's saying it's over. It's not the whole thing is not over yet. I'm in different time time frame. That's correct. I didn't see any marks on You didn't see any swelling either, did you, Mr. Romero? That's correct. No swelling. And she was only three or four feet away from you, correct? Correct. That's really close. You were looking right into her face squarely, correct? Like if you, correct. you would see it. 
and the lighting was good at the front desk, correct? Objection. Right. Objection no to fucking what, what Elaine? Well, like her and then later that later that same day, and you testified to this already today. Later that same day, you went up the elevator with Miss Hurd and Miss Pennington uh, in connection with their request for you to check the penthouse. Correct? That's correct. And during that entire check for uh, period one. of time, taking them up to the penthouse, walking through the penthouse, and then finally you leaving and go back to your desk, uh, you did not. You look. You look at this her during that time period, correct? Nothing uh, on correct. her face. And you looked her in the face, squarely in the face, correct? Correct. And you didn't notice any swelling, correct? Correct. Go correct. home, Elaine. Correct. I, I know this is not Elaine. This is the other lawyer, but like, did you see, this did you whole see any thing is bullshit. Yes. No. Did you see any bruises? No. What is she? Is she objecting like through the video? How can she? Just to repeat, when you were previously, when you were front and middle in her spoken face, did you see any swelling on her face? No. See any bruises on her? No. Did you see any marks of any kind on her face? No marks at all. And how was the light down when you were at? She's so she's so good. How was the light? The lavender is actually pretty, pretty good. It's not, it's not far dark at all. She was how far feet apart. Approximately eight feet of three to four feet apart. Were you looking her square in the face? Correct. Okay. That's it. What else you want from the man? Do they ask him the same thing a hundred fucking times? And you uh, were looking her square in the face. How far apart were you from her then? I guess I can go back to watch the muffins. The muffins. I in front of her. And he didn't see anything. Any bruises, swelling, redness, or any marks on this third face on May 24th, 2016? I don't see anything. Nope. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the remainder of this deposition. Okay, so what time is it? Well, it's 4 p.m. here, so it's not over. I'm going to get to watch the end of this when I leave. But I couldn't help it. I had to come in here because my friend texts me. She's like, you got to go watch this Alejandro Romero guy. And I'm like so glad that I'm seeing him now. How many people have to say that they were looking at her straight square in the eye or like to her face? Three, like what the bus, not the bus, the cup said six feet. The other cup said five feet. Alejandro is saying three or two feet away. And nobody's seen a damn thing because nothing existed, because there's nothing there. This guy is fucking funny. I'm missing it. Um, oh, it's not over this yet. This is your deposition from July 19, 2016. Do you recall that? 19, yeah. Okay, and that's... That was in the morning. Okay. <laughs> and it said here... He's so done with it. Did you work... So Saturday was the 21st. Did you work that day? No. Did you work Sunday, May 22nd? No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. On May 23rd, while you were working, did you see Amber at any time? I don't recall seeing her. Question, did you work on Tuesday, May 24th? Yes, I did. And, and on Tuesday, May 24th, at any time, did you see Amber? I don't recall seeing her. You remember that being your testimony two months after the events? Yeah. I just don't recall. I just don't remember. OK. Um, and then I, while we're here, uh, he's so cute. Uh, I'm gonna, had you go I'm gonna go hang out of the Columbia building and ask you a bunch of questions about whether you saw swelling, whether you saw red marks. Oh my god, Ellen, you're gonna torture this poor guy again. Um, but in fact, um, 
I'm going to ask you, and tell me if you need me to bring up the videos and replay them. Can you tell me what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing in any of those videos? Oh, I can't remember. I can't tell you. Can you I don't even know what my name is. Can you tell me? I don't know. Can you I don't tell know. Me Nobody fucking knows, Alejandro. Don't feel bad. Nobody knows. Concealer. No. Here we go again. Can you tell with me whether the... Amber Heard was wearing any foundation? Foundation. No, I can't tell you. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any blush in any of those? No blush. No. No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any powder um, in any of When she no, says powder, it no, sounds like she's talking about drugs. Well, do you Who know the fuck says powder? Of concealer or foundation or powder Ms. Heard used it or used at that time? Um, no. Uh, uh, um, so you don't know whether Ms. Heard was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? All right. Yeah, I'm going to try to move it on. So the incident was May 21st. This guy, he wants to go have lunch. He He's done with May you. May 25th, correct? Correct. So you uh, saw Amber Heard hundreds of times. Well, she was there. Amber Heard treat you well unless you It's skipping for some reason. Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no because she was really always nice. Right. Wait, way. he's driving? Nice. All right, this is my I thought he was question. sparked. He's because driving. To Mr. Questions, oh my God, he's driving. You no seatbelt. He's like in talking the position, driving, being awesome at the same time. You testified in response I to love this guy. Today. I know I'm super sorry. annoying that I move a lot. I just move a lot. When I'm in my chair, I move a lot. Can't help it. It's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, yes. We'll just break a little early, so don't talk to anybody. Else. I won't talk to nobody. Let's break for lunch. Okay, so whatever happens next, I didn't see it yet. Who's next? Who came next? Um, I have to look it up. But I gotta go. Oh, I'm about to leave. Oh my God, Johnny's face. Everybody's just smiling. That dude was like, that dude was funny. How many times people have to say to a line, we didn't see nothing, we didn't see nothing. And she's asking about the color um, of the foundation, like the tone. <sighs> he's a guy, how the fuck he's supposed to fucking know that shit, you know? Um, it's not even a guy thing, even if you ask me, I wouldn't know what tone she's wearing. Who's coming next? We'll work through them and then if i come back at two we should be able to take care of it pretty quickly yeah. so, who's okay, coming next come back at two. nothing can be better than this nothing can beat this and the muffins from yesterday which i did watch live and i'll make a video about it later i love when the doctor goes like can we stop talking about the muffins <laughs> i love it she was so like First of all, so beautiful and so smart in the patients because I wouldn't be able to deal with Elaine. I wouldn't. Well, I guess I would if I'm if I have to. You can't really refuse to give testimony, but I just love when she was like, "So you went there for dinner and drinks?" And the, and the doctor was like, "Yeah, dinner was served and drinks were served too." Like. She was trying to get her on something dirty so, so bad. Elaine has this idea of like Johnny being this freaking cartel mafia dude and everybody around him kissing his ass and going like, oh my God. And that's not what it seems like, isn't it? I mean, as somebody who works with the same people for 20 or 30 years, that's somebody that, you know, is a good person. Not like Amber changing assistants every six months. That's not normal. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not abnormal, but it's not ideal either. Um, he's a way more solid guy than everybody wants, wants to work for him for fucking two decades. Okay, that shit was funny. I'm gonna be back later. I know this was kind of pointless to get here to do this, but um, I wanted 
to, to react to it because I, I can't believe how fucking dense she's getting. I'm sure Amber is watching the news and she's watching, she's seen something on TikTok or, or YouTube. She is because like they're like grasping straws. And it's so fucking stupid. Anyway, my favorite part um, of the week was probably the doctor, the forensic psychologist yesterday when she was asked about the muffins and then Alejandro today. Those are the highlights. Whatever comes next is like, it cannot be that much fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go, go to the Columbia building. No, I'm joking. It's quite close. I can't see it from here, can't, but I can get there. I can't believe that he was driving. Like I was like, okay, well, he's gonna do it. He's, you know, he's parked somewhere and he's in the parking lot. He started driving in the middle of the fucking deposition. This guy is a fucking boss gangster. Love it. Well, yeah. And, and I love how he was like, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm really stressed out about this case. Everybody has problems. It reminded me of the same, not the same exactly, but the same, just the idea of like, these people are so fed up answering these stupid fucking questions. Just like Isaac Baruch was, where he started crying. He was like, I want her to heal. I want him to heal. I want everybody, everybody just to stop fucking bitching about this thing. And when you see people are so fed up with it, these people, you know, after years and years, and they're, imagine how they feel. If they feel like that, imagine how Johnny feels. And I love it when he was talking about the dogs, the whole thing with the dogs. And so how do the dogs like four inches? Why do you, why your dog is going to be trying to scratch your door to get into like, see like the Rocky and the Amber and all those people, they sound like such a whiny rats to me. Like who the fuck complains about a teacup little dog? I guess I'm going to watch the rest back home. But um, this was funny, Alejandro Romero, your boss. Exactly. Like he was saying, like when, when he talks to people, he looks people in the eyes. I'm the same way. I'm not going to be looking in your ear and your neck. What the fuck? Who does that? I love I love it. It was so straight up honest. Like there's no bullshit. No bullshit. Nobody gave bullshit, I think. But he was really this guy. All the cops. The three cops of dog today, testified today, were great. Elaine was like making fun of one of the cops. I got that feeling that Elaine was just making fun of these people. Um, like, do you know what would happen if you lie under oath, a police officer, and you're a police officer, and you lie? You know what would happen to you? It was just, I mean, they got the whole thing going on about how. You are nice to Don Johnny because you work for Johnny. You are on Johnny's payroll. Blah, blah, blah. What is she going to say about the police officers? The police officers don't work for Johnny. They don't work for nobody. So after today, I think, well, after yesterday, the forensic psychologist and the cops today, I mean, it's like locker up. There's no, I don't want it to be mistrial. I wanted to get to the end of it. I want Amber to take the stand and talk. But it's just like such a waste of uh, money at this point. The fuck, man? Anyway, it's, it's worth it. It's not a waste of money because he needs to tell his story and everybody needs to know the truth. So I didn't mean to say it's a waste of money. It's just more of a, so much energy to go through this shit. But anyway, muffins. So if you're gonna go to work interview, job interview, meeting, whatever, remember to bring muffins, okay? That seals the deal, just like that. And that was so funny. I love when she was like, okay, can I clarify so we can stop talking about the muffins? I, I remember that. I only watched it last night and I remember that phrase. Can I clarify so we can stop talking about the muffins? That was great. What the fuck, Amber? How can she turn something so innocent, like the husband bringing muffins, to something wicked? Only Amber and her lawyers can think like that. Like, they're like, that's what I'm saying, they're grasping for air, and there's no more air. You're done. Lock her up. 
Bye. I wanted to watch this. And I did. It's really interesting. The way she's talking to people. So it's, she, I think it's not illegal to be a bully. It's just a different style. Lawyers can be like that. So it's not illegal what she's doing. And I don't think it's technically harassment. But I feel like when she talks, I'm like, I feel fucking like a tad. I lay and chill because I'm not making clean. Go get a makeup point. She was asking about pencil eyebrow. Like, I wouldn't even be able to, to tell if my friend is wearing pencil eyebrow. Like, who the fuck? Anyway, bye. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep listening to this guy until I get home. Um, just to make myself feel better. He's a constant. He's like a instant... Who needs drugs when you have Alejandro Romero to make you laugh? No way. I'm so proud of all these people. It's going well. It's going well. All right. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm sorry. I move a lot. I know. This is what when I'm not in, not in the house and I'm in my chair, this is what I do. I move. So if I make videos from here, I'm going to move a lot. <laughs> and I know that people find it annoying. But I need to. Anyways, the sun is going down. That's my view. That's the corner there. Um, India. Bye. If you get to watch this with me. I'm sure that everybody watched it already. I don't know why I'm doing this. Because everybody's seen it. But I am two hours behind. Virginia, I think it's like 6 p.m. over there. And it's 4 p.m. here. So I still have to wait until I watch the end of the day. Oh my God. I wonder if they're gonna, oh, they're gonna take a break on Friday. Like they did last Friday. Is that, is that? Well, that's for housekeeping and paperwork, I think. Um, I don't know. Who needs drugs when you have this guy to make you laugh? 